Hillsong, the glitzy megachurch linked to Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, is now raking in a whopping $130 million a year in Australia and has more than 40,000 worshippers bursting through its doors each week. In the last 30 years, the church has ballooned from a small house of worship in Sydney's northwest to a global Pentecostal Christian empire with record labels and outposts in New York, Moscow and Buenos Aires. Founded by Brian and Bobby Houston in 1983, Hillsong estimates the number of people surging through its doors for services has increased by about 6,000 people in the past three years, this week including a list of Gomez but it is everyday churchgoers who are pouring the money into Hillsong's tax-exempt coffers. Financial documents have revealed the church's revenue down under leaped by almost $20 million in 2016, with more than half of the funds coming from donations, including about $41 million in tithes and offerings. Church leaders encourage their followers to donate, with Hillsong's website saying we believe in the biblical principle of tithing bringing the first 10% tithe of your income into the storehouse. But a church spokesman insisted no one is told they have to tithe, ever pressure to tithe or even give at all. We call the offering a free will offering for a reason, and many people let the offering containers pass them by without contributing anything. The church now boasts it has a record label and a TV channel. Its music sells out stadium-sized crowds and Hillsong claims a congregation around the world of about 100,000 people. It has a legion of hipster-style priests. Carl Lentz, one of its prominent New York preachers, even baptized Justin Bieber in a water bath a few years ago and often seen by his side. At home in Australia, the church has survived a series of scandals over the years including denied allegations of vote rigging during the Australian Idol music competition, and criticism of its senior pastor, Brian Houston, by a powerful inquiry three years ago.